So once you got your dashboard up and you're ready to program a zone, you're going to hit the zones button. And I'm going to choose zone 2 because I'm working on zone 2. It will ask you if you want to calibrate. This one is already calibrated, so go ahead and calibrate if it's not calibrated yet. Or you think it needs finer adjustment. And then I'm going to hit no to calibration. It will ask me if I want to load data points, and I'll say yes. Take about 40 seconds, and it'll give a little countdown here. wait for the 40 second countdown <clears throat> you might see the head rotating if you're over the head right now Now my head's coming up, and it'll come up at the first position. This already has points logged in, but I want to set new points. So I'm going to erase points. You can also calibrate from there. Confirm I'm erasing the points. the head went down and it uh, should come back up again here in a second <clears throat> once the countdown's ready all right the head's just not far enough so it's not coming up there it'll come up got it set to maximum distance at 35 feet it might actually go farther 36 and a half some of them be farther or shorter. I'm going to rotate to the property edge. You can kind of see the stream on here. <coughs> Just tapping rotate a little bit at a time as I watch the head. Okay, right there it's at the property line, kind of that bush. I like to use plants, bushes, and edges of landscape to kind of get my points where I'm going to set to the next zone. Once I got where I want the point, I'm going to hit insert. And it will insert position one. Now I can hit minus or plus and I can change the distance at a point and save. But since I, and it will change the distance in the point for adjusting. I'm going to rotate. I want it to the next point and I'm kind of wanting it to get to this tree. I'm going to use the tree as a landmark on the head. Just rotate it over and I'll set the next point. Now I kind of want to get it to the edge of this landscaping so I'll rotate. And it's kind of tricky. If you do go over too far, I'll show you how to do that in a second. I hit insert, get another point saved, my third point. And now I'm gonna come in. Then we get to the second point, and I'm just holding the minus. You can also single tap the oh accidentally hit it and that's right where I want it but I want another since it's at the save and it's not an insert I can just tap rotate you'll see it's 110 and it'll go to 111 and then I'll insert a point there and I'll rotate some more until I get where I want the next point Want it to be a little bit farther. And 
and I'll insert. So you notice that it's 29 and this head is not that far. I'll recalibrate and reset this zone. I'm just kind of doing this as an example. So and then I'll rotate more, insert another point. Now say if I inserted one of these points, like over here, and I want to go back to it, I can just press and hold, and then I can say, go to position, and the head will go down. And it'll come back to the position. Give me the 16 seconds. And now it's at that position where I had set that point and I can adjust it from there. Um, and then once you have all your points set and you're ready to go, if you go up into the corner, you can just hit exit and it'll give you a countdown and exit the zone and you can move to the next zone. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can uh, just hit me a message in the comments. Thanks.